UFO, seen hovering above the largest marine installation in the United States. We have aliens. In 2021, witnesses in California saw what they believed to be a UFO with flashing lights flying above a U.S. marine installation, but the government insists it was only a training exercise. Fox News Digital received video and images of the potential UFO from Jeremy Corbell, the lone citizen mentioned at the historic hearing on unexplained atypical phenomena UAPs, held by Congress in May 2022. Investigative journalist and videomaker Corbell said that witnesses at Camp Wilson in 29 Palms, California, described it to him as a large, silent, hovering triangular-shaped craft. The Pentagon's unit that oversees UAPs, a government-derived threat, was conducting a training session at the time, according to Sue Goff, a Department of Defense spokesman, who talked to Fox News Digital. I can confirm that there were military aviation assets in the 29 Palms, California, airspace and a weapons and tactics instructor course was being conducted at the time," Goff wrote in an email. There is no record of communication with the base range control concerning a UAP sighting, nor of the allocation of any base resources to investigate a UAP sighting. AARO does not have a record of this alleged event and cannot verify the authenticity of the report. The biggest Marine Corps post in the world, Camp Wilson, located at the southernmost point of San Bernardino County in the Mojave Desert and covering 998 square miles, saw the event. Training will take up the majority of the base. An institution under the Department of Defense called AARO, which stands for All Domain Anomaly Resolution Institution, has been entrusted with looking into and identifying unexplained flying objects and other occurrences in the air, sea, or space. Voices may be heard questioning what the object is in films that Corbell and his WeaponizedPodcast.com co-host, journalist George Knapp, published. There is a second voice saying, we got aliens. Those are not alum rounds because alum rounds fall. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and nobody shoots in a five gun section. This is crazy. No, you can see like an outline of something. Yeah. Yeah. It's moving. Take it you to your leader. Oh, hell no. Yo, we got aliens out here, dog. My phone camera says. Yo, this is We got UFOs outside. Yo, hey, we're everyone's out here. Goff claims that even though AARO doesn't have a record of this encounter, it serves as evidence of what Corbell and lawmakers have called a flagrant failure to disclose possible UFO sightings. Sends. Mark Warner. D. Virginia, and Marco Rubio, R. Florida, sent a five-point letter to the Department of Defense following the April 19 UFO hearing before the Senate Armed Services Subcommittee on Emerging Threats and Capabilities. In a message sent through email, Rubio said that Americans are understandably concerned about objects in the nation's sky and close to infrastructure. What's worse? Our government spent too many years ignoring or downplaying the threat," Rubio said. Thankfully, that is beginning to change, but as we saw earlier this year, the defense and intelligence communities are still struggling.
the Chinese spy balloon and three other unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, that the Biden administration shot down in February were mentioned by the Florida senator. As they look into tips, pictures, and videos, Corbell and Knapp are still effectively acting as the witnesses' mouthpieces for the time being. He described this specific instance as an open UFO investigation and stated that they are using the public to get more witnesses and film. We encourage additional service members that were at the 29 Palms Camp Wilson installation during this reported event to come forward with additional footage, images or information, Corbell said. The truth is out there, but without a proper and defined flow of information by the Department of Defense, we will not be able to make progress on understanding the UFO presence on planet Earth and what it means for humanity.